Hello, I'm Adrian Hyde, I'm 69 years of age and when I purchased all of this uh, quite expensive video uh, equipment I was expecting to spend most of my time filming wildlife uh, and other interesting events. Unfortunately my health has taken control of the situation at the moment and I am at the present going through radiotherapy treatment for my prostate cancer. The whole idea of this vlog is to describe the procedures and, and events that I've had to go through uh, to get to where I am now and to uh, explain some of these procedures uh, and their more personal sort of relevances uh, to, to me and probably and, uh, to you. The first thing that I've got to say about all of this is that A, I'm not a doctor, so the things that I describe are just my interpretation based on a reasonable amount of fact, but please don't take them as, uh, as a, a, a prescription or, or, or gospel, so to speak. Uh, they are just how I feel and how I have found out about things. Secondly, <clears throat> it is very important, very important, that you stay positive and you keep uh, an outlook that takes you beyond your treatment uh, and beyond uh, all of the scare stories and everything else. Just stay positive and work your way through this series of events that will overtake your life, which will change everything that you have to do for a couple of years, uh, but at the end of it you should come out of the tunnel at the other end and hopefully you will be uh, cured and uh, won't have any more problems. What is the prostate? Well firstly the prostate is an organ that surrounds the urethra which is the tube that you pee through. It is the organ that produces the semen that your sperm uh, are in when you ejaculate. So during the uh, sexual act your prostate produces the fluid and your testicles produce the uh, swimmers if you like that, uh, that would fertilize an egg. So it's the combination of those two that enable you to ejaculate. So your prostate is obviously only a male uh, organ and it, it, as you get older, tends to grow uh, and enlarge, uh, which squeezes the urethra and affects the way that you eat. Now this on its own is annoying and uh, <clears throat> can cause some discomfort and needs to be dealt with, and normally a transurethral resection of prostate, TURP, is the medical surgical solution uh, which cuts a hole or recuts the urethra tube so that the pressure from the uh, prostate is released and, and you can pee as per normal. Unfortunately I've got a cancer in my prostate as a lot of people will have so not only do you need to have a, a TURP but also you will need to have uh, radiotherapy treatment. If the cancer is contained, as far as I understand it, then you just only need radiotherapy treatment. But if unfortunately you have secondaries, uh, metastases, that have spread to other parts of your body, your lymph node, that sort of thing, uh, then you will probably need a combination of radiotherapy and chemotherapy. In that sense I'm one of the lucky ones because I've only got contained uh, cancer cells so I'm on a treatment of radiotherapy. 
meeting with other people uh, uh, in the radiotherapy department uh, when we're waiting to have our treatment. <clears throat> Obviously we all talk about it and one of the uh, questions is how many treatments are you having? There seems to be two treatment sort of uh, regimes. One is 20 uh, treatments and the other is 37. I'm on 37 which means that you have a radiotherapy treatment every day for uh, 37 treatments spread over five days a week. They don't work weekends so you have the weekends off uh, and obviously bank holidays and stuff like that. So my treatment as it happens will coincide with Christmas and the New Year so uh, I'll have Christmas and the New Year off. But that means that uh, I'm due to have my last radiotherapy treatment on the 10th of January 2020. As I say, the idea of this vlog uh, and subsequent vlogs is to just give you some information on the problems and, and, and how to sort of recognise the uh, prostate cancer situation uh, and hopefully reassure you that uh, things can be done and it can be, uh, well I don't know about cured, but uh, treated. Uh, and enable you to, to lead a reasonably normal, perfectly normal life uh, after all your treatments and, and proddings and probings and, and all the stuff that goes with it. So I'll see you again soon. Uh, I'm due to start my 11th radiotherapy treatment tomorrow, Monday. Uh, so next week I'll come back to you and uh, and tell you how that was gone and uh, give you a bit of more background of how I was diagnosed and what I had to go through. But until then, uh, thanks for watching. If you would, please subscribe and share. Uh, that would be great. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.